Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'll do another quick once human video today. This time a guide on the level 35 securement silo EX1 in Choke Peak. I want to see how many videos I can dish out without finally changing this shirt, you know. <laughs> this dungeon is pretty unique. I loved it and it clicked once I realized what's up. You get these side quests from T-Man and I suggest you do them every time. Because they have cool rewards and they are pretty quick. It's cool I don't have to fight Rosetta forces anymore. I'm glad the Divines overrun these pricks. Good. It's straightforward at the beginning. You start off underground in some Rosetta research facility and things obviously got messed up at some point here as there are divines all over the place. You advance through corridors uh, until you reach a big elevator. Just take it. After that, in the name of freedom, continue cleansing the place, one bullet at a time. It is kind of satisfying to snipe these guys in the face point blank. When you read, yeah, snipe point blank. Sorry, it, that didn't make any sense, but I leave it here for posterity. When you reach the lab, start clearing the undead researchers and nurses. At some moment in time I triggered waves of undead that were spawning from the black goo on the ground. That does constant damage and slows you by the way. Avoid it if you can. Run around the lab killing the little guys off. Then a big guy with some emissive tumors on his back spawned and keep trying to give me a hand. But I didn't want it. Loot everything you can and move on. You should have the Rosetta V3 access card from that guy. Open the side door and start going down on the stairs that leads you to a prison underground floor. And of course, all doors will open. Yeah, just have fun clearing it. If you use something uh, else other than a sniper rifle or a bow, it should be very easy. I needed to <laughs> tactical retreat on the stairs for the long reloads. No loot on that floor, so you can take a right and clear those uh, gross things that are blocking the hallway. Another prison room, rinse and repeat. There is a loot crate to the left, just take it. And below the crate there is this door that leads you to another dimension. The next room, just stop at the red light. Don't be like me. <laughs> I didn't bother to read the top left quest message and I was even pissed at some point not knowing those divine traffic lights are the culprit. So yeah, you need to traverse the street by going straight, stop at the red and you should be fine. But at this point I realized those traffic lights are resetting me all the time and this becomes trivial. Take this gear crate. There is, and there is our boss I won't even try to pronounce, you need to obviously shoot the lights on top of his head I guess. It's like the siren from, from the beginning of the game. Clear the heads and don't be in the open at the red, because you'll get laser beamed to death. In this instance I got time frozen but at least I was safe and in this phase the heads that might be coming your way are getting frozen too. So you need to worry only about the boss really. Once you clear one side of the lights, you need to go to his back and as there are more there. This is pretty much it. I found this silo pretty cool and unique, uh, even if the mechanic is used once or twice before in the game. Remember to loot all the acid, because you'll need plenty of it, okay? I'll let you see the rest of it and the loot at the end. Anyway, thank you for watching and until next time, take care and see ya.